This is the 217 Recovery Podcast with Corey Winfield. I'm kind of on the outs with the little people of America. Yeah. So I tried getting on a dating site once and they would not let me on there. Because I am not a little person. And co-host Marnie Winfield. You're tapering yourself down from your hangover or whatever. Oh no, when that started rolling in to a whole another entire day of drinking, it just didn't stop. It is the 14th of May, 2022. My name is Corey Winfield. My name is Marnie Winfield. And this is the 217 Recovery Podcast. So inappropriate. Yeah, the little people in America. I was actually talking about that the other day at a... The meeting uh, I talk at to people that are in treatment, looking for help and mm-hmm. inspiration and hope, and I deliver. It was told to me that I, apparently the week before I had made reference to making a cake. Mm-hmm. And two people come up and they're like, yeah, I've I, I been thinking about that the whole time. And I even mentioned it to the so-and-so. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about. And then another guy came up and he's like, yeah, we had an NA meeting. And I told that to the NA guys. And I told them it was from the, the 217 people. <laughs> like, all right. I have no idea what I was talking about. Making cake? Yeah. And recovery. And tie, I, apparently I tied it all in smooth and nice. where it made sense to them. But I don't remember what the hell it was. Hmm. You're that good, huh? Yeah. Did you just like black out and, <laughs> and, and do open talks? No. No. But the other guy said... Have I seen you on TV before? I said, no, not yet. <laughs> a couple of days. And he's like, man, you remind me of the stand-up comic. Hmm. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. It's so funny. He's like, you should do comedy, man. I'm telling you, that's like the third time I've heard that. I believe it. Not in my whole life, but I mean like in the last month. Yeah. And we want to do this stand-up thing. And I... Uh, sent a proposal to the Detroit Tigers. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't followed along, let me enlighten you. Back in 2019, a bet was made between myself, Ryan Beckman, and Chris Goss. Chris Goss, he liked the Tigers. Beckman, he liked the White Sox. Myself, Cub guy. So we were debating what organization was better or whatever, so we made a bet. It's like, all right, we're going to reach out to each club to see if we can get something donated. Ryan reached out to the White Sox, and he got 104 tickets. I reached out to the Cubs, and said, they said, yeah, let's do something in September and possibly have you guys out on the field. I thought, man, that's sweet. Chris Goss. Uh, Crickets. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's we heard when it was Chris Goss's turn. So we just got Chris. Well, blah, 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 blah. you know, he talked. Well, COVID hit and we didn't go to any games. There was no field. There was nothing. So getting back in the swing of things, I reached out again to the Tigers and to the Cubs. The Cubs, they donated an autographed picture of Ian Happ for us to auction off to raise money. Tigers said, uh, that's all right. We don't. We do these things with the kids and stuff. We don't need to do anything with people in recovery. We're good. We don't even like people in recovery. Is what they what they said? No, they didn't say that. But okay. I have to find the email. It was something like that. So I'm like, thanks, Tigers, Detroit Tigers. We're in Michigan or Michigan organization helping people in Michigan, but couldn't send an autograph ball. Maybe because all their players suck. I don't know. Maybe because they couldn't pay the postage. I don't know. They're going to pay Cabrera all that money. Anyway, not to be talking sports here with you. I'm just saying, I did it again. To the Tigers, I submitted a donation request for Stand Up for Recovery, which would be our stand-up event, Mm -hmm. stand-up comedy night. So if the Detroit Tigers want to donate a baseball, doesn't even have to have their logo on it. Just send us a baseball. Send us a foul ball. I don't care. Send me something, and we're going to make this happen. Put some dirt on it. And then we'll know if Jesus really wanted it to happen. Huh. And we can record it, and then we'll go on tour after that because we'll get sponsored by Red Bull or whoever. I need an agent. Yeah. So I was thinking, I need an agent. 
So if you're an agent right now and you're out of work, maybe drinking a little too much and a friend of yours said, listen to this podcast, 217 Recovery Pie. It's very inappropriate, but listen to it. <laughs> and you're listening to it right now. That's Jesus. You're supposed to. You're stuck on this inappropriate thing today. Got a hold of me. Oh, yeah. And that's actually going to be tomorrow's podcast. I'm going to do a solo podcast tomorrow. It was brought to my attention that we were not, or actually we were asked not to be somewhere. Because our podcast is inappropriate. And Tyrone and I did not have the credentials. Hmm. Hmm. I wish I had that, doo, 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 that yeah. fancy music, that hoity toity music, as they call it down south. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that podcast tomorrow. It'll be fun. It'll be interesting. And I'll, I'll play some audio from, from their meeting. And how they're going to. You're looking at me like, oh my God, Corey, don't do this. I, I'm a little worried, but it's you okay. Be. It, no, you shouldn't be. But it'll be interesting for sure. Um, yeah. How did Eminem say that? Put me on blast on MTV. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be good. But that this tomorrow's podcast, a very special episode. Okay. Called Inappropriate. Mm. Yeah, it'll be, good. It's, it'll be something for me to get off my chest. I'm going to tune in. You should. Uh, there are some new things on our app. New old. The daily reflections and the 24 hours a day, those readings. Nice. Yeah, they're on the app. So get the 217 Recovery app. Go to Connect, and you'll see them in there. And there's your readings right there on your phone. Just lay in bed, wake up, and read. That's awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool that they're back. And then... There's a video, and I called it Recovery Stories, but I think I need to change it to Recovery Spotlight because it's not really a story. Right. So I'm going to change the name of that. But it's featuring Justin Burke this month. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of talks about how things have changed and his thinking now and the things that, that keep him sober. And that's under the video section on our app. It's on our website, too, around the main page, and it's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. But if you want to, it's like four minutes long. If you want to listen to that, maybe get inspired a little bit. Yeah. You know, Justin did a pretty good job. And on the app, apparently it's hard to find sometimes. It's just. Go. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, you have to go to videos. Like, don't be confused. I'm thinking, actually, I think that I went the backwards way because I already knew it was Justin. Mm. And so I went to like T, I went to underneath him to actually find his video. Oh. So you went to the website? Yeah. Oh. I went to the website. Oh, so yeah, because so I, I texted you and I said, hey, the video's on the I app. And you're like, I can't find it. Backwards. I said, I know it's really hard to find this in our videos. No, I found it right away then on our videos. trying not to be too mean. I was like, mm, yes. yeah. So if you go to the app, at the very bottom, it says like, welcome or home, connect, podcast, blog. The little icons on video. the bottom that are gray, not very... Can you make those different mm, colors? I can do whatever I want. It'd be great if you could make them different colors. Because oh. right now they kind of just like blur in. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm put it on my list. Okay. But yeah, but watch the video, Recovery Stories, and I'll change it. So by the time you listen to this, maybe it'll be changed. Maybe it won't, but it'll either be Recovery Stories or Recovery Spotlight. Probably Spotlight. Okay. So there, there's some new stuff for... People, some new and some old, like I said, the reflections. Um, there was a flyer that was sent to me. And at first you know, I was like taking notes, like, okay, let me see if we can put this up on our website. But then I realized that I think the reason why the flyer was sent to me because, well, here, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to pull it up on the TV so you can look at it. Okay. Okay, so you see the flyer, mm -hmm. Carol's Hope. Mm -hmm. It's down in Southwest Michigan where we just were. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm proud of them for having the second annual charity golf outing. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, July 22nd, 9 a.m. registration, Indian Lake Hills Golf Course. It's an all clear, 18 holes of golf with Whoa, a cart. I've seeing what I'm seeing. seeing it. Ouch. Yeah. What? First, they have $100 golf are you, registration for it. Are you for serious it. right now? Individuals. I know we'll get to it in a minute. But this no. is weird. $100 for golf registration for individuals, which you have to have a foursome. Or it's $400 for the foursome. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for doing simple math. That's what it would have been. But yeah, 
under the 18 holes of golf with a cart, prizes plus contests. It says, what, honey? I can't read it. <sighs> I'm sad to say that this lunch will be provided with, or and adult beverages will be available to purchase. Yeah, that's when I was like, oh, oh. I was like, that's why I think he sent it to me. Yeah. That's <laughs> Your participation really... supports Carol's Hope, a crisis intervention center in Marion County for individuals who struggle with addiction and substance use disorders. That's just yeah. wrong on so many levels. So they don't want anybody in recovery to come out to it? Well, like, I mean, I don't know. What? Maybe... Maybe their focus group is people who aren't in recovery that just have money and like to golf. Yeah, but it, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's like just, that makes that's very obvious. That's mm. like a that's one of their key points. That I mean, there's not very many words on that flyer. No, and they made it a point to make sure that people know that adult beverages will be available for purchase. They used the ink to print that on that flyer. <laughs> <laughs> ink costs money. How many flyers did they make? They probably could have printed an extra hundred flyers. Uh, Maybe not that many, but all right. Well, I'd be curious about their thoughts on that. You know? Yeah. The, somebody, I mean, it was obviously put in there. Somebody thought, Nope, that'd be a good idea. Cause we want all these people to come and when people golf, they have to get drunk. I, I really don't know. I, don't I know. really don't know. They might as well put, we're giving away cases of beer. I don't know. They could have said nothing. Right. And had adult beverages yeah. available. We're for adults. Purchase. We'd have been cool with that. But yeah. to like put it on your flyer, like, <laughs> I don't know. To no. me, that just seems a little weird. So that's why I thought, oh, I think this dude sent it to me to go, can you believe this? Yeah. Looks like he's at Buffalo Wild Wings or something. I don't, I don't some know. Sauce on the table. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. Sent me a picture of it on Facebook. I was like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, glad that your your eye caught that too and thought, what? Oh, how could it not? Yeah, I don't know. You fam rally is coming up this week. Big deal. I know. Very exciting. <sighs> Yeah, I just, and I, I don't know if this is what's been making me in a funk this last week. I don't know. I just am so tired. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's just because I know we're going to have a big week. Because we're leaving Thursday. The rally. No, we're, we're leaving, leaving Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm already, ah, we're leaving Wednesday. But yeah, the rally is on Thursday. Yeah. And we're going to be out there at 9 a.m. We'll be there before then, probably set up. And then we're just, we're going live with it. And we're going to have the interns, mm-hmm. you know, man in the tent and talking to people and explaining what 217 recovery does and that good jazz and slinging t-shirts and whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just, uh, I just know how tiring it's going to be. And I don't know if that just, I don't know. I need to be optimistic about it because it will be fun. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a blast. Have you looked at the weather? Yes. Did you? No. Oh my God. What's it say? Sunny and 76. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's great. Not too hot. Does not have rain in the forecast. Oh, my gosh. How amazing. So that would be a beautiful day. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. So that's that, that's coming up, and I just I want everything to go right. And every time we've tried to do this, well, I did it live from the house, right? This very chair yep. on speaker. It played just fine. You listened to it in the other room. I set up the speaker, mm-hmm. you know, and... Got it through my phone. It sounded great. To play on the speaker. So it, it was playing live. It was good. It sounded all right. But I've, this last time we went to Ben Harbor or whatever, we took the board with us and I tried to set it up and I didn't feel good and it was midnight already and pff, we didn't do it. Mm-hmm. You know, so that kind of makes me mad that we really haven't done a dry run. Well, let's do another one. When? Monday. When? Monday. Monday. From, okay, from where? A park? I don't know. And have a little picnic? A little yeah, picnic podcast? Picnic. Mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can... Get, well, maybe... I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. I'll make some sandwiches. Yeah. I'll get know. Nancy Dow out there. Yeah. I just sent her an email. And I just told her, this week's going to be hectic. Maybe next week, because I really want to have Nancy on. Nancy does a lot of things. Um, and I can't wait to have her on the podcast. And people who listen to the podcast are going to be grateful that you listen to hers. 
when she's on with us. But Nancy is probably one of the most amazing women I've ever met. Mm, she's awesome. I like her. If you don't like Nancy, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> she just has she's this so personality. Sweet. Yeah. And it's like. And so loving. And contagious. just. Yeah, she is. And so like positive and, you know, helpful and supportive and only good things to say about her. Yeah. I think think she's great. And that's why I, th- I think she has a lot of things that could help people that do listen. And if you have family members or friends that are struggling with addiction, I think she could really help a lot of people out. And in fact, I just gave her number out the other day mm-hmm. to a woman and I was picking this guy up and he was stalling. Mm-hmm. And I kind of knew the guy sort of. So the mom came out and we talked probably for half an hour in her driveway and she was just having a hard time. She's just like break. She's breaking down. Like I can't. Yeah. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. This is. This has to be it. Yeah. You know. And he had said to me later that he had been to treatment like ten times, or this is eleventh or something. And mm-hmm. the mom's face. I was just like, "Yep, I've seen that before." Yeah. <laughs> you know, it comes a point where you want to help your son, you want to help your daughter, but <laughs> you've done everything. Mm-hmm. And I know with my mom, I think it was a real big concern of am I enabling him? Am I not? What, what do I help with? What do I don't? I mean, what do I avoid? I mean, yeah. And then it stresses them out. It really yeah. does. And it wasn't a goal of mine to stress my mom out. I didn't know either. And I truthfully wanted to never drink again. I just didn't think it was possible. I, I didn't know how. Mm-hmm. And, you know, finding that purpose of the podcast, you know, really helped. And then, just starting the podcast and putting it out there to the public. Like, Hey, look, I'm in recovery. That yeah. helped. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a lot of different steps, but a lot of, a lot of it, I contribute to just having a purpose. And I was given a sense of hope of, yeah, you can do that. You can do any, whatever you want, you know? And that's why I tell people now, you know, you can do anything you want sober. Mm-hmm. If you don't know how to do it, Google it. You know, this is a beautiful time to live. Yeah. It's it. Yeah. What are you want to build a house? Google it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe, Google what you need to do. Right. But yeah, you can do anything. But anyway, Nancy's cool. She'll be on the podcast soon. I promise. Yes. I really do promise. I, I know I say that a lot, but mm-hmm. I really do. I mean, that's, those are my intentions. So, um, another, speaking of trips, this woman I took, I dropped her off at the detox where I was taking her and, the guy was like, nah, man, like her Medicare don't, don't, don't pay for none of this. And the treatment center was cool. They were like, well, we're not going to send her away. Yeah. We're going to do what we do. But how is it <laughs> that someone who's on Medicare can't get treatment services paid for? Like that blows my mind. And on the way there, she was telling me how she has to pay out of pocket for her outpatient therapy sessions. And she's like, I'm on disability. I make less than $15,000 a year. And I was supposed to pay, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever it was. She didn't tell me really the price, but she said it was hundreds for these outpatient therapy sessions. I mean, maybe the, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. Like, I don't know. Like if she had, I mean, because it is a mental health issue, so it would fall under that, right? Like mm-hmm. something bad happens, now they're gonna go, oh well, we should have been paying for that if she just would have had some help, and maybe she wouldn't have done this horrible thing that hurt a bunch of people, you know? Like, mm-hmm. do we have to wait for that to happen, or can we just make sure that people are getting the help they need? Right. I'm gonna have to look into that. And if you're listening to this right now and you're looking for something to do, you want to have hope and purpose. F- Look up why Medicaid doesn't pay. You know, the woman says she was 65. She was on Medicaid and Medicare, and her treatment services aren't paid for. Look that up. Want to know another scary thing that I heard that I don't know is 100% true? Hmm. But I heard that the majority of, well, I heard the word all, but I can't, I find that hard to believe. There's got to be, is that uh, nursing homes won't accept individuals with substance use disorder. Like active. Yeah. 
drinking person? Yeah. Someone who drinks excessively. I don't I can see where they wouldn't allow drinking. Yeah. In the nursing home? Yeah. You can mm-hmm. see what, that would be a bad idea probably. But what if they have secondary issues? Like what if they can't care for themselves and they don't have family to care for them and they need <laughs> they need a nursing home? Well, they probably should go to a treatment center, but then their medical care won't pay for it. Right. Now we're back to square one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're in recovery, I think that would be fine. But like if... Yeah, I mean, active addiction. Yeah, if you're in active yeah. addiction, then, you know, definitely you have to go to treatment first. You couldn't just be dropped off at a, I don't want to say old folks home. <laughs> what do you think the oldest person ever in 100. history who's been to treatment center? 100. 100 years old? What do you think? I don't know. You know the answer? I don't. Do you want to Google it? Do you think it'd be somewhere? Hell yeah, it would. Really? You're not trying to break a record or anything, are you? No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. I would say in the 70s. Maybe. Late 70s. No, I've taken, I think, an 80-year-old before. You have? Psh, yeah. I don't remember that. Um, substance use treatment for older adults where ages 50 and older senior hope inc oh, it's in new york i'm from where the city i don't know what, i don't know that song mom and dad your cat wants to get in okay it's not really telling me well i'm just gonna say probably 100 is correct Maybe. 67. That's not even close. Yeah, I mean, I would think a lot of people probably pass away before that. You know, alcohol kills your liver. Right. Um, liver disease, blood pressure. And you fall. Mm-hmm. We've all fallen. Hmm. Well, we'll have to look into that, though. But Senior Hope, Inc. So that's the place in New York. But, yeah, look and see, figure out what's going on with that. Make some calls. I'll do the same. Yeah. But probably not this week. But that did bother me, though. It's like, wait a minute. Like, what do you mean they're not going to cover it? Like, what? <laughs> Because I thought maybe she was, because she was a little intoxicated. So when I was talking to her on on the ride, and I just thought maybe she was confused or I don't know. But when the dude came out, I was like, nah, man. (laughs) But that was very cool of the treatment center to not shut the door and say, nope, get out of here. Right. I know there are some treatment centers that actually do that very same thing, and they just don't care. And that's unfortunate. But that wasn't the case, so I'm proud of them. Give them props. Yeah. I'll talk about them one day. Um, let me see here all. I got a whole list of things written down that I want to talk about. And that was it. So thanks for... <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to talk more about my mental health over the last week or so. And I just, I just don't understand... Like, I haven't thought about drinking or anything, but maybe I need a meeting. Mm-hmm. I thought about maybe going to one yesterday and today, but ended up having to take somebody. And, and then today, um, I had a family event that was fun. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't. But, yeah, I think when I'm feeling that, that funky way, you know, maybe that's what I should do is just hit a meeting and yeah. see what happens. Because I'm no stranger to talking at those places. So whatever's inside me, whatever I'm thinking is going to come out, and I do feel better when I leave those those mm-hmm. AA meetings or NA meetings, whatever they are. Yeah, I don't, I don't discriminate for sure. So I guess I'll start there, but it's just like it's just the event coming up, and am I stressing? Is is everything going to work out right? And what happens if something doesn't? <laughs> you know, like I just got to keep my cool and not yell at people. 
that's what I'm trying to do too, you know, to help the image. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I don't need to be over there yelling at people who are trying to help me or help us or whatever. And it, uh, I'm just, I'm just worried. Oh, well, I think it's a, it's kind of, well, especially because of COVID, so many things that we had planned put, were put on hold. And this is the first real kind of big event thing that we're doing, at least since I've been a part of this. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, I don't want to say the word pressure. Maybe that's your feelings and pressure about it, but I think it's going to go great, and I think it's going to be amazing, and there's nothing that could happen that's going to throw it all off. There's n- No, I guarantee you we'll be good. Okay, I'll keep positive thinking then. Totally I'll positive. Tell you the 80 things that just flew through my mind that could happen, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to shut up and just think positive. Think positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're going to do like an hour. You're going to be the host for an hour. Okay. What hour do you want to pick? Mm, I'll do after lunch. Okay. Who's your co-host? I don't know. Can I pick that later? Yeah. But I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, later is in probably tomorrow or maybe. Okay. I don't know. Okay. If you pick the wrong one, you have to fire them in the middle of the podcast. Okay. Because what if you're like, oh, I want Tyrone. And then you just get on with Tyrone. He's taking naps on you. Because Tyrone gets sleepy. <laughs> I know he does. He'd be like, yeah, yeah, Mari. And you hear him snoring. Yeah. And you're like, damn it, no. I don't want Tyrone. I don't know when I'm going to do my stuff. You don't have like a plan? Well, I do. But I don't. Okay. Because I'm trying to keep it open too. Because if there are people that are going to be at the event, like Scott. Like, I call him Scott Massey, but I guess it's Scott Macy. Okay. Because he called me the other day and he was like, hey, Corey, it's Scott Macy. So like, oh. oh, he did? He didn't oh. correct you? I, I didn't say, hi, Scott Massey. Oh, I didn't know if you ever, like, said his name. Not to him. I was like, hey, what's up, Scott? Okay. I'm like, hi, Scott Massey. Then he'd probably be like, no, it's I thought it's maybe Macy. he said it on the podcast and he heard it or something. No, he, he called and answered, you know, and he's like, hey, Corey, it's Scott Massey. Macy. Mm-hmm. The opposite the way I say it. And everybody else in the world has ever said it to me. So, yeah, so he might come by. Well, he said he was going to come by. And when we went to 2019, he was just so busy. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, buddy, we're over here. And he's like, all right, cool, man. Thanks. I'll be here. And then he just never was. But he said he was going to make time to come by. Cool. Let me get me. He wants an autograph or something. Mm-hmm. I'm a Detroit baseball. <laughs> like, here's the Tigers baseball. It's not autographed or nothing. Is Carol's Hope going? It's a foul ball. Yeah, I don't know. There's no beverages going to be at UFAM, by the way. Like, no no adult beverages anyway. No. Yeah, bring waters. They'll have some chairs there for you, but I would suggest... Bring your own. Yeah, bring your lawn chair. Maybe a little sun umbrella. Yeah, your shades for sure. Mm Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. It will be. If you want a cool 217 recovery shirt... Come by and see us. Mm-hmm. And the thing I'm going to do it is, you know, we're not really selling them, but for a donation to 217 Recovery, you know, we'll give you a shirt. We got hats. Mm-hmm. We got all kinds of stuff that's cool. Yeah. Should, we, should we bring sweatshirts too? We can bring what we got, yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll see. But we do have some pretty cool stuff and people like them. So, yeah, definitely hit us up. When you're out there, we have like little name tags that we'll give you. Yep. But yeah, I don't want to make the whole schedule because I don't really know when those people are going to be stopping by. Right. See how I went back to that? Mm hmm. I used to piss Rob off. Mm hmm. It's like, you always just circle back around to what you were talking about before. And, and I'm still confused about what you just said. Hmm. Say, so don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, because I don't keep doing it because I know it made him mad. I put Rob through so much torture therapy. Yeah. I hope he's still alive. I hope so too. And he sent me a text the other day about a podcast or something that he was listening to and did not sound very interesting to me. Hmm. <laughs> so I was like, all right, buddy, I'll check it out. Yeah. Sorry, Rob. At least he was reaching out. Yeah. That's true. But um, yeah, I'm going to, so I'm going to hit some meetings. Maybe this, I don't want to say it's, I don't feel depressed. I just am tired and it's just really weird. Hmm. It's a really weird feeling of 
of what I'm going through. And I just think off. It just, yeah, it might just be the pressure that's coming up. I just feel like I'm not getting anything done and at all. Mm-hmm. And I have like this whole, and of course I'm a last minute guy anyway, but I have all these things I need to do and it's getting crunch time. Yeah. And that's probably why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling is just cause I know I am very last minute guy and guess what is getting down to last minute. Mm-hmm. So now I actually have to do stuff and then my body just goes into shutdown. Mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I go to me. We're, we're going to go to church tomorrow. So that'd be good. Yeah. 930. Well, Jesus up in my life. There you go. Big fan. So that is really for real all I have today. But tomorrow I'm going to do a podcast and it will be on the Traverse City Library saying that the podcast is inappropriate. Okay. And some issues that they're having and the things that they're doing and, and saying. And I have the board meeting that I'm going to play that, that we'll talk about. At least I will. Okay. I'm going to be nice as I can. I know. I hope so. I'll explain the whole situation. Okay. And it wasn't really everybody at the library either. It was just one guy. Okay. So, and I don't, I don't hate the library. I don't have bad feelings. Right. Just the one guy. I can maybe enlighten a little bit. Okay. But he doesn't listen to podcasts anyway. So, it's for me. I got you. To make me feel better. Mm Mm-hmm. So, listen for that. (laughs) Okay. And, yeah, check out the new stuff on the app. And we'll talk to you well, I will tomorrow. But Arnie, maybe Tuesday, maybe? All right. Sounds good. See ya. See ya. Thanks for listening to the 217 Recovery Podcast. Win a bunch of free shit from 217 Recovery. Go to the app or the website, 217recovery.com.